Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at Case B for the 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks lineup. And I will be honest, at the time of filming this video I do not have the third new truck, but at some point in this video it will be included and I'll talk about it. But for the first two of this set, these are the two new ones plus the third that will be coming later in this video, which is the Loco Punk as well as the brand new five alarm, which by the way, we'll talk about in a second too, but it is joining the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks live tour, as you can see right there by its category name. We're gonna start actually with that five alarm, but before we open it up, we're gonna take a look at case B. As you can see here, the three new trucks are these ones, which are the five alarm Loco Punk with the neon shocker's body, and the third one, which I have not found yet, which is the Rhino Might, a brand new Rhino casting. Then we have some repeats, familiar ones, especially Dairy Delivery or Hot Wheels Delivery with the blue and flame paint scheme. The all too familiar on this channel, 18 Chevy Camaro SS with the orange body that we've seen for the last two and a half years. Tiger Shark, Pure Muscle Demo Derby Edition, and the Radical Racer, which is back yet again. Same paint scheme for all of these five uh, returning trucks and then you can see the uh, five alarm stats appear to be the same if you want to uh, just pause and read them there they're right there and this is the new paint scheme so this is the one that they will be running in hot wheels monster trucks live and um, the paint scheme is a little bit different from the original but uh, very similar as well if you look at the color scheme uh, you can see there uh, free crushable car recrushable car i should say uh, number 12 of 75 new for 2021 and there is its logo of course this brand new circular tire mold bubble for the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live packaging. And as you can see there, it's number three of seven of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Tour trucks. So I'm not sure if this is going to now effectively replace one of the trucks because we also got news that in case C, uh, there's a brand new truck called Race Ace coming out. And that is another new truck for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. So it could be replacing Hot Wheels Racing number one. We don't know yet, but clearly if there's seven trucks and there's eight of them total, one of them is going to retire and not be used this coming year. So we'll see what happens with that. But this is definitely joining the live tour and we're going to unbox it right now. So here it is, the brand new five alarm for 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Edition. This is the recrushable SUV or van that it comes with. And here is the brand new five alarm paint scheme for the live tour. Now I have no knowledge or idea who or what chassis is gonna run uh, this truck. There has been rumors of it possibly being Fluffy's Kevin King as he has a very unique chassis that would fit something like this, but uh, nothing confirmed. That's just rumors running around the community. But uh, you can see here, this is the new paint scheme and it's kind of a confusing one. There's flames going all over the place. Hot Wheels, Monster Trucks, Fire Department, number 68, of course, Hot Wheels 68, the year that Hot Wheels started, 1968. Uh, the red, classic red color, uh, it has a Hot Wheels logo with 68 on the top as well. Uh, another one of the Fire Department markings. And then if we look up here, uh, some more random flames and then the badge for the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Fire Department. I had a question come by, and uh, this little symbol here is the treasure hunt symbol, which means usually a chase piece, but in this case, it's just part of the badge. Uh, kind of a poor graphic design because uh, you are leading people on to believe that this is a chase piece, although it is not. This uh, official symbol right here, which is the tire with the symbol for the classic treasure hunts from the Hot Wheels line in the middle. But the fire department is just the badge with that classic little uh, flame right there as well. So it kind of looks like a chase piece, but it is not a chase piece. Uh, and then you can see Hot Wheels fire. The front here also has the same similar graphic. Uh, with Hot Wheels Fire in gold. And then this side has um, different graphics, uh, slightly different graphics than the other side, a bigger badge, a bigger 68 and Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Fire Department, and then some differences there. And the back there has the caution style tape 
and the 68 with a gold Hot Wheels logo. And then it has chrome rims, a chrome chassis, and a black roll cage with a white ladder. So very interesting that they're going to be running this in real life. I don't think it'll look anything like this. Honestly, I got to be honest, I don't think this uh, truck uh, driver can see out of, obviously, because the front grille here would be blocking their field of vision. So I'm sure we're going to see something drastically different uh, than what you see here today. The same case went for Tiger Shark, and I would even argue Bone Shaker were not very accurate to their original diecast counterparts. And next up is the brand new addition to the Neon Shocker series, the Loco Punk, number 13 of 75. And you can see here are the stats for it, the same one as the others have been. And uh, you can see that really cool logo. I love these 90s, 80s style throwbacks here uh, with these crazy colors, graphics, totally a great series. I always have loved uh, 80s and 90s culture, especially the neon era, as we call it, and movies like Back to the Future, which include a lot of things uh, with neon. It just kind of reminds me of that, hoverboards and that kind of stuff. So it's a really cool series, very nostalgic for the people who lived through it, which of course was not my generation, but uh, the generation before me, definitely a nostalgic feel. I love this era, so it's a very cool uh, series that they're going with. So this is the second one we're reviewing of the neon series. Uh, there is also now slated to be a Volkswagen Beetle released in the neon Shockers series. And the one I just reviewed was the Torque Terror uh, in case A, if you want to watch that video, I'll tag it at the end. So here's Loco Punk the train casting. We're going to unbox this one right now. And here it is, the brand new Loco Punk with that crazy, where is it? Here it is, the crazy logo that it has with the neon uh, sign as the logo and then those crazy. Uh, just totally cool, nostalgic graphics behind it. So there's that. Here is the red car. It comes with another van. And here is the Loco Punk. So Loco Punk is a very familiar casting in the series. We've seen a very uh, frequently released one with a brown kind of paint scheme. This one's a drastically different edition of the Loco Punk. Uh, you'll notice that the paint here is actually green, lime green. I thought it was plastic at first, but I remember this part is actually a metal casting. The rest is plastic. So they got a pretty bright green neon color there. Very nice. And then they have the Loco Punk logo in the neon lights and of course those 80s style graphics. And I love that they even, as they did on on the uh, Torque Terror and also the Volkswagen Beetle, they did the Monster Trucks logo in a throwback format, as well as the Hot Wheels logo. So that's very cool. And then this side is the same as the other. Uh, I kind of wish they would have added more graphics. I feel like it's a little blank compared to its card art. Um, I just feel like they could have done way more, but uh, they did a very subtle addition. I definitely think the front here should have been printed on. The top there should have deserved a little more than it got. I mean, look at the logo compared to the actual truck. There's so much color here, and they decided to go with just yellows and greens instead of this whole color scheme. So very disappointing in terms of what they advertise versus what they put on the truck, but oh well. I do enjoy this crazy mashup of a color for the chassis here. We have a dark blue roll cage with a dark orange chassis. And then what appears to be a red-orange rim choice with a green beadlock as well as a blue uh, rim choice with a green beadlock. And as I promised at the beginning of the review, at this point in time, I have found the brand new Rhino Mite, as I mentioned at the beginning. So here it is, the new casting for 2021, this new Rhino. They're calling it Rhino Mite. Uh, my friend Danny Mass actually just suggested a great name, which could have been Rhino. Uh, good play on words. Mattel usually does that. I don't know why they chose to go with Rhino Mite. I really, I mean... It doesn't have a really a dynamite connection. It's just the logo. So I'm not sure what they were going for there. If you guys know or happen to know or think you guys know, please let me know. But here is the stats. The name is Rhinomite. The truck type is Creature. The strength is Explosive Fury. And the crash tech is Horn Blast. So let's unbox the last new truck for this set. 15 of 75 for this year. And here it is. The new casting with this green van uh, with a orange roll cage choice, charcoal, flat chrome rims with a chrome chassis. And there is that new 3D animal casting by Mattel. I gotta be honest, when I first saw this, I wasn't a big fan, but I think they did a pretty good job with making it into a Rhino. However, the driver cannot see. I mean, look at that. The driver's sight line or window windshield area is the smallest window I've ever seen. Uh, and then you can see here, lots of cool detail. It's a flat paint scheme uh, with an interesting actual texture. It's like a, almost like a plastic texture, but it's a metal body. And then uh, this is a plastic insert here, the top with the ears and the top of the head. Head, so they kind of did a plastic thing there. Uh, the tail is uh, a soft rubber. As you can see, it's also at an angle. So they did a little bit of an angle on it. Pretty cool. 
Uh, and then the horn there, or both horns, they actually look like ivory, which is a very cool touch because of course, rhino's horns are made of ivory. So that's a really cool uh, plastic insert choice there for the horn. And then the mouth is really cool too. It reminds me a lot of the Monster Mutts uh, from the Monster Jam fleet. So that's just uh, pretty interesting to see. And then you can see the logo there with the dynamite stick, the two horns on the R, the Hot Wheels logo, Monstrux logo, and a little bit of dynamite on the tailgate with the Hot Wheels logo, and a stripe that goes all the way across the top to the front of the horn. So there is Rhinomite, and that will conclude this review of the 2021 Case B assortment for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I wanna hear your guys' opinions, so please comment below and let me know what you guys think about this set, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Ryan or Monster Jim OCD, signing out.